You know what? Yeah, we'll do this. No belligerent everybody in Indochina or in Burma. That's fine. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to EU4. We are now in version 1.34 lines in North. Well, we've been in this version now for what, like almost a month now at this point. I'm kind of kind of behind on uh, on making videos because uh, I had some family stuff that I had I had to take care of. Um, but here we are. We're back again with underrated nations, and today we are going to look at the nation of Khmer, a nation that. I've been scouring the earth for on YouTube that nobody has done a video on other than the social streamers. And it's like a three minute long video. Uh, and it explains the Khmer collapse. Khmer is this nation right here also. Um, but yeah, they, they've only done a video on them that explains the collapse. I haven't seen any other YouTuber actually like play as Khmer. I've seen them like mention Khmer or like... What makes Khmer an underrated nation? Well, it's not this 3-1-1 or this 3-2-2 ruler and heir. Uh, it's actually their ideas and also their mission tree. So in terms of ideas, Khmer has some really good ones. They get uh, national tax plus 10%, which, as you know, in this patch is actually really nice for tax and the new tax meta. Now, I'm just playing. There's no tax meta, but it is a viable option for money now. Advisor cost minus 10, national manpower modifier plus 20. Morale of armies plus 10, tolerance of the faith plus one, and yeah, but the improved relations is nice. Uh, yearly naval tradition, and I mean, that's not the worst. We are next to obviously the southeast uh, Asia, and we have to deal with all these guys, so we do need a relatively capable naval uh, navy. Uh, we also get trade efficiency plus 10%, discipline plus five. So both of these are very good. Yearly Prestige plus one, and then Ship Durability plus five. So again, they kind of go along with this. So it's a very... Khmer's ideas are very well balanced in terms of land and naval stuff. We do also start out in, an, in a disaster as well, too, which is the Cambodian disaster, Cambodian collapse. So uh, I'm going to show you guys how we deal with that and how Khmer can become one of the greatest countries in the game. And by the end of this game, we are going to reestablish Khmer's empire. But yeah, we are going to go ahead and get right into playing as Khmer. And if you guys enjoy this video or like other would like to see more videos like this, make sure you guys subscribe and hit the like button. It's, I, as this is my main series, which is Underrated Nations. And I am also going to be starting another series called Mission Only. Uh, pretty much playing as a country and only playing via their mission tree and expanding only the mission tree so kind of playing a nation as paradox intended as well as include and i am also going to be releasing a few multiplayer videos as well too so i hope you guys are excited for that so here we go and let's get in as Khmer. here we are as Khmer. we do start off with about fifteen thousand guys again we get these the 311 and a 322 this guy is 69 years old great age to be alive at we, and here's the disaster that we are going to get right at the start of the game, the Dark Age of Cambodia. Um, so all power costs are up by 25%. And of course, we lose 5 stability at the start of the game. How does that work? I don't know, because you can only have a minus 3 step. In terms of this mission tree here, so this is the mission that we actually need to complete to get rid of the disaster. Or this province here, Angkor, uh, which does have the wonder Angkor Wat which is a really good wonder that gives us minus 10 tech cost. Um, that has to be 15 dev and at least tier 1. So it starts off as tier 1, so it gives us minus 5 tech cost. And then it'll become our new capital, and we get cheaper construction cost. This right here, we do have to have our monastic order being loyal of 55 or greater. And then have 5 temples and also religious unity of at least 100. Then we can choose what type of religion we want in our country. We can either be Mahayana, Theravada, or go back to being Hindu. And then we have to rebuild the town. So pretty much every province has to be at least 10 dev. We get 100 admin, minus 20 construction costs, and minus 2 national unrest. And then we just need 2 stab and 90 legitimacy to complete this. Some of the cool missions in their tree as well. I just have to humiliate... Uh, Ayutthaya or own one of the provinces in their state area and we actually get a subjugation cast belly on them for 10 years once we complete that 
we get Liberty Desire from Subjects Development until the end of the game, minus 25%, which is really, really nice. Then, of course, once we do, we take back some of this, we can subjugate Lan Shang. Then, once we own all these provinces here, we do become an empire and we get permaclaim. So, this is our goal for the end of this campaign, is pretty much restore Khmer's empire and annex all this stuff. And in terms of rivals, I'm just going to rival Ayutthaya. Oh, I guess, I guess everybody around us uh, rivaled us. I know, I'm sorry I didn't ri rival these two in the order that they rivaled me, but that's okay. I'm also going to fabricate a claim on Champa. I am not going to give myself the cheaper advisors just yet because I don't want stab costs to be even more. And we are making a little bit of money at the start of the game, but I am going to lower this. And I am going to hire three advisors. And here we go. Here's that disaster that I was talking about. The Dark Age of Cambodia. The once mighty Khmer Empire has fallen. Angkor, the very heart of Khmer civilization, lies ruined and abandoned after being devastatingly sacked by Thai invaders. Across Cambodia, temples and cities fall into decay as King Baram Rakhie II struggles to project his rule beyond the new capital at Chat Chattamuk. This is a dark time for the Khmer people. So yeah, we lose... Oh, we lose two stab and then 25 prestige. Okay, and we did just get a claim on Chapa. They have zero allies, so we're going to go ahead and attack them right away. And the plan for Chapa here is we are going to try and vassalize them, but they're, they're going to attack my navy here. Yeah, they, they're, they're, they're beating up the navy. Only took us 682 days, but we did just finally take the capital of Chapa. And with that, yeah, we, could, we can vassalize them, but they... Uh, they're not so willing just yet. Let's give it a month. No. Nope. All right, we got to beat up their army. By Champa army. Welcome subject. Declare our second war, which is going to be on these guys here. Uh, oh, we can also complete this and get a subjugation cast of belly on dive yet. Oh. They also don't have any allies. Uh, they have 15,000 guys and full manpower. You know what? We're not gonna attack these guys just yet. We're just gonna we're gonna move our army here. I'll be honest, I don't think Diviet's gonna get any good allies because they're out and they're rival to both Launching and Ayutaya, and they normally ally Ayutaya. We honestly might have just lucked out in that regard. But right now we are just chilling. We aren't gonna complete that mission just yet, because uh once I'm ready to attack Diviet, we will. And our ruler just died. So now we got our 322. An air, we got a 341. I'll take that. Oh, and Champa's finally loyal. Only took forever. Hey, I'm gonna go ahead and get the next military tech. Don't want to fall behind in mill points, even though we are paying 25% more in terms of tech costs, so 688 points. And I am gonna go ahead and start devving up these provinces uh, to 10. Right? Yeah, this one. Uh, minus 20% cheap construction. Now we can also get Angkor up there as well. Starting with up here. Uh, so encourage dev. I believe every one of these. Yeah, all of these need to be dev. This one in particular. Let's go ahead. This one does produce tropical wood. It's a local construction cost. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll put in some Diplo into this one. That one's good. 15. We could complete that mission, I'm sure. Yep. Which ones do I have to get to 10? All of these. So pretty much most of my country. Okay. And we can take the second government reform. Uh, we got quite a few options here. We are playing in East Asia. And we do have the Mandala system. So it is more of a vassal type of uh, vassal experience. Uh, we could take this. Yearly prestige and yearly legitimacy. Uh, that, that one's okay. I Out of like the new government reforms, honestly, Noble Officer Corps and Strength and Noble Privileges are my favorite. Um... I think I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to take Noble Officer Corps. Ah, oh, finally. Our entire religion is one, or country is one religion. Now we just have to make our monastic order a little bit happier. Okay, we just made them happier. Now we can take this mission, Affairs of Faith. Faith in the Khmer Kingdom happens. We can either t have, take this. So Brahmin at the court will be granted to our uh, monastic order, pretty much. Any province that we take from here on out, uh, even if it's a different religion, will not give us any religious penalties. It just, But it's also, we can't convert the province at all. But Theravada is our new state religion. We could also swap back to Hindu after converting everything from Hindu. 
Or we could just go ahead and jump straight into Mahayana Buddhism. Uh, yeah, we're going to go with this. We also did just dev up everything to 10. Uh, so we'll get the extra 100 admin. Boost up the stab 2. Take this mission. So now Angkor is our new capital. And now we can now get rid of the disaster. Victory for Khmer. Khmer Resurgence. I am also going to start developing for the Renaissance. And our ruler died and we're in a Queen, queen Regency. 4, 2, 3. I mean, that's not the worst. And if you remember too, which I didn't, I can now actually take the cheaper advisors because I don't have the disaster anymore and I don't need all the stability. So that'll save us a little bit of money, get Renaissance. Okay, and we are going to go ahead and attack this guy and his little buddy of Jirai over here. And we're going to feed that over to our vassal of Champa. For our tier 3 government reform, uh, I guess we have another option? Oh, never mind. Oh yeah, we do. We have the Corvée system. Which this is also really good, just because every time you construct something, like military-wise, you get manpower sailors, and also all your buildings are a lot cheaper, and you get 10% national manpower. But also the centralized bureaucracy is really nice. I'm gonna go with this. And it also has centralizing a state will refund its costs, which is also super nice. Uh, we are just going to go ahead and give both of these provinces over to our boy, Champa. And of course, we are going to attack... Oh, never mind. Champa does not have a claim on this one. We can also finally get Admin Tech 4 and start building temples. Because we have 40% cheaper construction costs, they are now 58 ducats. Go ahead and do that. Alright, this war is pretty much done. Now we just have to wait for them to uh, actually peace out here. Alright, we did just get Admin Tech 5. And we are going to go with a mill idea first. I'm thinking, honestly, we might go with defense or, hmm. So we do get some stuff for boats. So quality wouldn't be the worst idea. So maybe we'll open up with defensive and quality. Yeah, plus the attrition is pretty nice. Yeah, we'll go defensive. Okay. And of course, now we are going to go ahead and focus on mill. We are also going to take justified wars. And we can finally full annex this guy. And our air is a 0 2 one. Um... How about you how about you check out the Gulf of Siam, buddy? I, uh, I hear it's pretty nice this time of year. We are just waiting to get military tech 6, so we're on par with Diviet. Then we are going to go ahead and attack them, which now we got military tech 6. And so let's go ahead and attack Diviet then. Subjugation cast a spell that we get from this mission. And a 302. It's better than the other guy, but I still don't like it. But let, let's go ahead and attack the Diviet then as well. Oh, there's Diviet's army. They immediately saw mine and started to run. Cool. Also, don't be like me and always forget to build a spy network on people, because it's honestly the thing I always forget about. Oh no. My subject is rebels. They popped up. Once my army gets here, we are going to go ahead and attack Diviet. Easy peas. Now let's beat up Mong Fawns. Stack white. Nice. Oh no. Oh, and our two star died. Oh, come on. And our free company's probably gonna get stack wiped. They did. That sucks. Look at calling an ally. Oh Ava. Hey buddy. Yeah, come on in. Alright, Mong Fuan. Uh we're gonna get you out of here. Just give me money. War reps. The use. Ooh. I actually lost that bit. Why? Just because they have a better general, but I outnumber them like two to one. And well, they also get infantry combat ability, right? Yeah, right away. All right, but we can peace out now. And so let's go ahead and there it is, Cambodian vassal, and take all their money. Yay! Now we got Diviet and Champa's subjects. I am gonna go ahead and take strong duchies, so they're a little bit happier with me. And of course, next on our chopping block is going to be the nation of Lanshang. Uh, oh, let me build, get that really quick. This state here, but we also have a few cores on them. We might as well... Yeah, I'll call on Ava. Also call on our ally, Hisenwe, with the promise of land, but we're not going to give them any. But don't tell them that. And yeah, let's go for it. We're going to do a reconquest on this province here. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. I'm sorry, but I think we're going to go for it. I see our ally Ava's getting the brunt of everything. That's cool. Good for me. And we also got cannons now, too. And Ava's been full occupied pretty much. Yeah, they're going to get stacked by poor guys. 
Sorry. Oh, they just got pillaged and had to give up a lot of money. That, that, that That's okay. And we can peace out Lan Chang finally for this. Talk about a Khmer resurgence. And I could take this, get subjugation on Lan Chang and Meng Fuan. Honestly, I'm just going to full annex these guys. I'll just complete that mission. And I'm just going to full annex them in the next war. Yeah, of course, now we are going to chill for a little bit as well. Uh, just because we are all out of manpower. Also kind of gives us a chance to uh, improve with outrage nations. Ah, radical reforms. Okay, yeah, let's, uh, I'm going to fire both these guys, get the monarch points, then hire them back. For our tier four government reform, state and religion, uh, empower the monasteries, what does this do? Okay, so this is unique to Buddhist religion. Uh, curtail the clerical privileges for cheaper admin tech, expand temple rights. I might just do this because I want the, yeah, more tax modifier and local unrest, plus the advisors are cheaper. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. And for our second idea group, uh, I'm debating between, I think an influence ideas would be nice here. Uh, what's this do? Defensive monthly war exhaustion. Oh, that's actually pretty nice. Trade ideas, maybe. Okay. Espionage. The yearly corruption thing's actually nice. I'm thinking influence because we are going to have multiple vassals. We're going to have Divya, Champa, Ayutthaya. Yeah. And then that way we can annex these guys. Plus that monthly war exhaustion is actually pretty nice. Even though I know Red Hawk says, you know, guys, monthly war exhaustion is good. You know, I I have to be honest. I don't I don't think it is. But uh, you never know. Maybe more experience. So maybe maybe it is better. Maybe, maybe the monthly war exhaustion is better. Oh, Air falls ill. Let's pray for his life. A two zero four. It's like the same thing, just a little bit worse than admin. Also, why does Ming keep fighting Oirat? Like they just they're just constantly at war with them. Two zero four, two three three air. Yeah, he's a babbling buffoon. Oh wonderful. Hey Taya finally has the Renaissance. So good for them, I guess. Uh, we are going to launch a Humiliation War, I'm thinking, against Ayutthaya. So what do I have to do to get this castle's belly? I have to pillage them, humiliate them, or own one province here. Maybe pillaging might not be the bad option here. I haven't done a good pillaging in a while. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll just do like a reconquest here. Or no, we'll, we'll do a conquest and we'll just pillage them. And like usual, they just go up towards Ava. Poor Ava. Ayutthaya, uh, can we already make peace? I literally just want to pillage. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do this. This will give us a truce for five years. Which means we could take this, which will last for ten years. Then in 1505, we will come back and we will attack them again. And here we go, truce with Ayutthaya is up and we're going to just go ahead and get right into attacking them. For subjugation, of course. And I guess Mong Mao did join, even though the game said they would not. That's okay. And apparently Sambas wants something from them. So I'll just call them in with the promise of land. Again, not give them anything. Looks like Ayutai's army is trapped here, so we'll go ahead and fight them here. And let's fight this battle here. Good, good, good. Uh, I, I guess I can hire an admiral and help out Dive Viet's navy. Oh, that was a horrible idea. Horrible, horrible idea. Okay, now we do have 90 war score. Uh, oh my god, so close. Looks like we're going to have to stack wipe this army first. Stack wipe, 100% war score. Boom. So now they are our subject. Here's their, everybody's loyalty, 69, 100% for Ayutthaya. Let's take this, see where that puts everybody at. 61 and then, oh, we'll give it a month. 59 and still 100 for them. Okay, and now we do have Ayutthaya, Divya, and Champa as our subject. So we just have to finish off Lanshang, Lanshang, Mong Fuan, and Lana. So honestly, let's hop right into taking out Lanshang first. Lanshang. I won't call on my friend of Hisenwa because they might get in the way, honestly. Don't worry, Eva. I'm coming. 
Too bad you ran away. But <laughs> at least I saved your country. Go down to Pegu, siege down their capital. Maybe stack wipe that army? Yep, stack wipe an army. They probably don't want to be here anymore. That, that's right. Get out of here, Pegu. Oh, Lan Shang. There goes your army, buddy. Adios. Oh, and they just surrendered. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's full annex these guys. We don't care about aggressive expansion, right? Yeah, no, we don't care. Subjugate Lan Shang, 200 mil points just for that. And we do technically just need to own five more provinces and restore the and we restore the empire and become an empire as well as get permanent claims on pretty much all of this right here. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and attack this guy here. Actually, I could probably get Mong or his Senwa to like just break their alliance, right? Yeah, Mong Fuan. Yeah, just just do that. I don't I don't feel like getting my alliance with you, even though you're small. Just beat him up. Super fast war. This one's over with. Uh, let's just full annex them. Of course, we're not playing around with them. All right, and then we just need eight more provinces now. I guess. I thought it was five more, but we need eight. And then we've pretty much restored the entire. Or is it core provinces? Oh, the provinces need to have less than one unrest. Okay, that makes sense now. For our tier 5 government reform, we're going to go for the cheaper advisors. I love cheaper advisors. Ming declared conquest on Nepal actually formed in the game. What? Okay, that's cool. How big Ming actually is in this game. Normally they're not this big. And of course it's going to be when I'm playing as Khmer. That they're going to be exponentially larger. Alright, and then we are going to go ahead and attack Lana. I see uh, my boy Tangu actually expanded. That's pretty cool to see. I love Tangu. I could also vassalize them. Ooh. I could also vassalize this guy. I'm really tempted to just vassalize Tongo. I'm gonna do it. Right? Can I though? Since they're subject to somebody else technically? Yeah. One more month and they should be my vassal, right? Oh, come on. So so close. Or here, I'm off for military access. That should do it, right? I'm sorry, Ava, but I need your tributary to be my subject. And now we're gonna go ahead and attack Lana. And call on Ava while we're at it, because why not? Well, that's probably all sad because I took their ally. They're like, oh, you were my friend and now you betrayed me. Boo hoo, Lana. Yes, for Lana. Adios. And Arakan is at war with Bengal because Bengal is going to full annex them. Okay, let's hurry up and let's attack them. I really don't want to lose all of Pegu. To Bengal, who is apparently a superpower right now. As for you, Arakan, uh, can I just take these two? That's all I want from you. Yeah, we'll get those to Tangu. Can hit you restore the empire now. Uh, let's become an empire. Now we get permit claims all over this stuff. You know, I, I was talking about how Ming was doing like the best I've ever seen Ming do, and then all of a sudden they just collapse. So nice. Shun's gonna take the mandate of heaven away from Ming. They have well, they're gonna try to. They may have eleven thousand guys. Ming has eighty-seven. I think Ming's gonna win this. Oh, come on, man. Just one more. Come on, dude. Oh thank God. I thought I was gonna leave me with like a little sliver. I hate when that stuff happens. Oh. And then Ming got rid of our tributary state. Okay, Ming. And our ruler died, and now we're in an Empress Regency. Wow, it's great how things just kind of work out that way, you know? And Ming's just constantly just, they're just getting destroyed now. And honestly, uh, we might just hop on Ming. I was originally just going to, uh, well, first I'll get his Senwei. I, I was originally just going to just do this, but, uh, we might as well, uh, get some of that Chinese land, too. Also take away their ally and his Senwei. They don't need them. I do. I also rival Ming. And now Dolly's a thing. And we're gonna kill Dolly. Once the month ticks. Yes. Alright, they have no allies. Let's go! Oh, and Yue. They're not even... They're not even a protector or anything like that. Neither is Wu. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, Ming. Ming. We're about to start another war here. Well, we just started another war, so now we're fighting two wars. All because Ming collapsed. 
You gotta love it. And then this is all going to go to my vassal of Hisenwi. Look at that, Hisenwi. You you become my vassal and things things immediately go great for you. Look at that. Dolly. Uh give these provinces. Uh, there we go. Are those all the ones? Oh, I need that one too. Hong run. Boom. We got colonialism. We took most of Dali. Now we're going to be beating up most of Yue or eating them up. Uh, Ming's no longer a valid rival, of course. All right, and then this war is over now, too. So we're going to be taking quite a lot here, actually, Uh, if I can. Yes. Cool. We could get everything that we have claims on, actually. Is it right? That's everything we have claims? Yes. Yes. All right, cool. Boom. And start integrating our boy of Champa. That's only going to take us about six years. Can I concentrate the land here? Uh, we will gain two development. I'll oh, wait one more month. Oh, never mind. Dive yet. Let's influence you. I'm going to annex you next. Let's go ahead and start annexing them. Now, Brunei. They're allied to Majapahit. Pretty much non-existent. They're allied to Sulu. Pretty much non-existent. They're also allied to this guy. Kind of non-existent. So, I'm thinking what I'm going to do here. I'm going to ask, some, ask for some military access through our little buddy of Lan Fong here. And I is also two military techs behind us. We are also going to take this mission, which gives us subjugation cast his bellies on all of these nations here. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and subjugate Brunei. We will call on our pal of Lan Fong. Because why not? Oh, look at that. Diviet now has colonialism. You guys are going to get excellent use out of that. And Ivia is now ours. Ayutaya is pretty much done being angry at us. So we'll go ahead and start integrating them next. And then now we get Brunei. And Ayutaya is upset again. It's not being upset. You're not allowed to be upset anymore, Ayutaya. It's only been about 100 years. You can't be upset anymore. Shun declared reconquest on Ming. Yeah, I don't blame you, Shun. I honestly don't blame you. Looking at the size of Ming. We did just get this. So now we get to choose a third idea group. Honestly, I'm thinking probably admin. Uh, which pairs nicely with influence ideas. But the core creation costs. Obviously the governing uh, capacity modifier is really nice. Otherwise there's economic ideas. Which is also very nice. But I'm thinking admin here. This guy. Mong Mal. They're allied to Mong Yang and Mong Nai. They're allied to all the Mongs. You know what? Yeah, we'll do this. No belligerent everybody in Indochina or in Burma. That's fine. And now we can take Mong this province here, Mong Mal. Yay. And we've consolidated all of Burma. Well, most of Burma. And now we can complete Defy China. And my vassal just became the Shan. I was curious about this, because I know that they could form Shan. I didn't know if they could actually form them like as being a vassal. What if I vassalized Orisa? <laughs> just for the heck of it, we will just vassalize Orisa, just because I can't. And then, Ava here, we are going to full we'll annex you. Get out of here, coho separatists. You're not welcome here. All right, and then they'll just kind of hurry this up, because Ayutai is at 99.5. I'm just going to go ahead and concentrate their dev into our lands. And boom, Ayutai is now ours. So yeah, there you have it, guys. We are the number four great power in the world. Total army and have about 113,000 soldiers. In terms of government, we are an empire. Uh, we did make it through a decent amount of our missions here. But overall, Khmer, because of their ideas and despite starting in a disaster, it's really not a bad position to be in just because disaster is pretty easy to overcome. It just increases all power costs. Your ideas are overall really good for like land land warfare and naval warfare so a very nice balance idea set and then you also get a good amount of subjugation cast its bellies on everybody in indochina and then you also get this nice bonus once you complete once you subjugate aitai you get minus 25 liberty desire via subjects development for the rest of the game which is a very very nice modifier and with that i am gonna call it here and i hope that you guys really enjoyed this video i know i really enjoyed Playing this nation as this is one of the countries that I envision underrated nations. If you guys want to see more videos like this, just make sure you guys subscribe. 
make sure you guys like this video and also too let me know what what nation you guys want to see uh next time that i do under ray of nations and as i said before early on in the video i do have some more uh styles of videos coming out we got some multiplayer videos we got missions only coming out that's going to be later on this week uh we finally i know it's been a little bit too long for that one but yeah make sure you guys like share subscribe and then let me know in the comments section below what country you guys want to see next hope you guys have a wonderful day and i'll see you in the next one